Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use CSS to create a split screen website. So this is going to be a really basic tutorial but it will run you through how to do it using a very simple CSS and HTML setup in Bootstrap 4. So to do it, all you need to do is go to your project and go to your index.html. So what you want to do is set up an index.html and also set up a style sheet. Link the style sheet to the HTML file and let's get started. The first thing we want to do is link Bootstrap 4. So go to google.com and do a search for Bootstrap 4. Go to the Bootstrap introduction page and download this CSS. And once you've downloaded that, copy it and paste it above your style.css file. Now, if we look at this, we want to have two sections. So to do that, we firstly want to create a Bootstrap row. And inside there, we want to create two columns. Inside those columns, we want to set up one, which is called left side. And then we want to create another one, which is called right side. Now that's set up, we want to go into style.css and do some CSS coding. So we want to do left side, comma, right side. Height is 100 VH, which means 100% of the vertical height. And then width is 100%. And then let's style the colors of the left side. So left side will be background will be red. And right side, the background will be blue. Uh, and then what we want to do is save it and go into our project and refresh it. And you'll notice we have two split sections, but there's a bit of a gap between them. So let's fix that. To do that, we go back into our HTML and add a class called no gutters. This is a bootstrap for class, both into the row and to the columns. Once we've done that, you'll notice that we have two split sections and it's, resp it's responsive. But just from previous experience, if you do this, you might want it to be on a mobile to be split from top to bottom as opposed to left to right. So we can really do that easily by going to the style sheet and adding a media query. So we'll make it automatically, left side and right side will be 50 VH. So 50% of the vertical height. So if you refresh the screen now, you'll notice that it goes like that. But then let's do a media query that will automatically change the height to uh, 100% if it reaches a certain height. Or the screen is a certain size, sorry. And then, so we've got the media uh, query set up for minimum width of 768 pixels. And then we'll do left side, right side, height is 100 VH. That's done. So now let's go back. We'll refresh the screen. That's cool. And then if we actually refresh the screen, it should uh, split into two up and down, but it's not. And the reason is because Flexbox is doing this automatically in bootstrap so to fix that we just need to go into here and make it col lg6 actually we'll make it col lg md6 and col md6 as well okay if we refresh the page now you should see that it automatically changes based on the size of the screen which is really cool now you might want to put some content in here uh, let's quickly use some flexbox properties to make it work quite easily. Okay, so click here, uh, we'll make it click left side and click right side. Okay, and if we refresh the screen, you should see that you have left side and right side here, but that doesn't look good at all. So what we can do is we use a bit of flex box to center those two items inside those boxes. So let's just do uh, deflex justify content center and align items center. So if we copy that and place it in the right side as well, you should see that both the content stays in the middle of everywhere. So look how easy that was. I mean, there's obviously much more you can do if you want to, uh, but that's the real simple part of, uh, of using Bootstrap to do this. And uh, yeah, it's taken what? not even five minutes to do this. Obviously, you can customize it and add JavaScript, whatever you want, but this has just been a basics tutorial. I hope that really helps you. Thank you.